Hey, glad you can make it. Come on in. Let's get let's get uh, get this over with. Where we all die again. Welcome to my home. Hope you like it. It's been it's seen better days. Well, that's quite rude. You're lucky. I love you. Plants are just dead <laughs> at this point. Just dead plants. I guess they. I guess they don't have like time gardeners, you know, gardeners that can, can go can go through time to water these plants. So many bunnies. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I wonder if these, these if this calendar was different every single day. I must have missed a day because I didn't notice. It's just bunnies. But... Hmm, interesting. We just go... We can just go there. Uh... Yeah, they... It's just nearly empty. Everything expired a long time ago. Oof. Oh, Crow, you surprised me. Seems like the ingredients I want to use are already expired. Rude. They would've turned out just fine. Just wait in the living room. I'll go find something else to eat. Instant ramen never, you know, expires. Well, I mean, does it? Actually, I don't know. I mean, it's very salty and, you know, it's, it's meant to be packaged and everything and dried. So I imagine that it doesn't expire very easily anyway. Mm. Can it go up? We should have dinner first. Well, let's go over here then. Anything in here? Drawers are empty though. No poster this time. All right, I'll just have dinner. We'll have more instant ramen forever. Ramen, ramen, ramen. There you go. You're not touching your food at all. If you don't like instant ramen, then you should just tell me. Why aren't you talking to me? You're behaving really distant. I don't like it. Did I do something? I won't know unless you tell me. Talk to me. I'm sorry. This is the first line of dialogue I've ever had. Uh, you know, the, not in the flashbacks anyway. No, I'm sorry for getting mad. I know things aren't easy for you. I'm sure you have your reasons. Whatever is on your mind, I'll try to distract you from it. So whenever you feel like you're ready, talk to me about it, okay? I know something that'll cheer you up. We'll go play in my room. Okay. You know anything about this killer of the rabbit mask that keeps murdering you? You know anything about that? Okay, yes, it looks bad. Don't you say it. I really meant to tidy up before you came, but I forgot. Sorry. Now that I think about it, was that poster, like, real? I can't tell now. I don't know anymore. You know, the, the, the when I was thinking about that mirror, and how we look in the mirror, and it was just a uh, head of Theo. Was that really his face? It was hard to tell, you know, from that angle. It looked really small, but then again, that might have been distance. Maybe it was his head. <laughs> anyway. Uh, you're not sure what this picture is anymore. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Another time to read, though. You wonder what this bear has seen. He's seen many things. That bear has gone through some shit. Uh, somehow that thought seems a little pointless now, though. Yeah, no need to read that book anymore. Who cares? Oh, there's this game I've been meaning to play. Want to play it together? Sure. Somehow, even through these time loops, we play different games. Oh, there's one behind the table. Where did that come from? Over there, shoot it quick! Well, so many guts! They made the skin quite realistic, huh? Nice shot, right through the head. Yeah? Why you shut it off? What did you say before you like horror stuff? Why did you say that? Hmm. I think even before we started dating. Oh well, if you're not in the mood for it, then there's not much to it. Let's just head to bed. 
And next time, we can choose which game we play, okay? <laughs> Alright, I guess we were playing like Resident Evil or something. It's funny because, you know, somebody got shot in the head and he remembered about Fio getting shot in the head, I assume. Anyway. In the bed. Crow? Are you asleep already? I see. Well, good night. Crow? Just... Even if you're under the weather today, I still have fun... Uh, I still have fun spending time with you. I hope next time you'll... Have just as much fun too. Well, we won't have as much fun because you're gonna die again. Hey, he's just sleeping uh, peacefully. You almost envy him. As you save the game. How many save slots do I have? Oh, 20. Exactly 20. Oh, there you go. Not yet. Oh, not yet, apparently. Uh hmm. This is gonna work. I wonder what we do now. Locked. Just dusty coats and closets. Hmm. It's empty. Search more thoroughly in here. Oh! Okay, it's a phone call. How to books. Cute art and crafts. Okay. Well, I can just pick up the phone, I guess. They hang up immediately. Oh. Oh, this is locked. You need a code. Hmm, I don't know what that code would be, though. Probably like wake him up, you know. That's probably a good idea too. Just wake him up, run away. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe we can't really escape in the first place. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. Oh, there's a present. Uh, should I open that? Should I even be opening that present? It, it killed us the first time, right? Oh, it seems like a bad idea. Oh, I could take the present with me this time. Thanks for the gas. Gas. Thanks for the gas. Now I can, like, I don't know. Do something with the gas, maybe. Can't open that still. I don't know what that is. Oh, there's a note here. What? Uh... The heck is this? One times? Time one times and then question mark. What? Oh, okay. Hmm. Put it in water? Not sure what that means. Okay. Oh, there's an empty bucket in here, actually. Uh, they can use the emergency present water. Take the bucket. All right. Unfortunately, the bucket is too small to fit the present, however. Oh, okay. You'd rather use a faucet closer to the container you want to fill. Hmm. Uh, fill the bucket with water. Okay. So, you know, we got the bucket. Uh, to get the water, so, you know, apparently from that note, I didn't really understand what the note really is trying to say, but, like, you get, I guess you get an object, get some water, put the present in the water, something. I guess we can use this trash can, it is empty. Is that how it works? Let me just do that. Halfway filled, put some more water. Some more water. Oh, no, I already have. Okay, I have enough water. And the water turned red. Hmm. There seems to be something floating on top of the liquid. When you carefully scoop up the key of the bucket and discard the... Or, yeah, scoop up the key of the bucket and discard the bucket afterwards. And got a key from that. 
A red liquid, though, I guess is like poison gas or something. Oh, well, we have a key. The only locked door I, I've ever seen in this place, I haven't opened yet, would be this one, so. And it's a knife. Hmm. Oh. And probably Fio's parents that have died a long time ago. Huh. Interesting. That's why they went on vacation. <laughs> I don't know if they told him that they went on vacation. Maybe Sophia told him that they went on vacation and they didn't really go on vacation after all. Hmm. Two skeletons wearing lab coats. You know, they have to have wear lab coats to, to make the connection, I guess. The scientists are always wearing lab coats somehow. Uh, those two must be... Um, yeah, we, we saw them in the picture, I guess. The uninterested one I saw on the left, and there's the guy that's kind of like happy or whatever. In the middle. We saw a photo. Uh, some kind of file on the table. It's way too dark in the room to read it. Take it with you? I guess I will. Hmm. Because we saw, like, the... I, I can't remember their names, but, you know, there's a guy in the middle, there's the girl on the left, and the one on the right as well had the rabbit pin. I assume that's Sophia. Why has she killed them? Jealousy, maybe? I don't know. Is it some kind of love triangle? But then, you know, she took care of Fio, but then she keeps killing him. I don't know what's going on. There's, like, also a time loop. Alright, well, we have a file. And the only room with lights would be the one with the mirror, I assume, so... A subject named Theo Jenkins. Born, uh... uh I can't tell, is it like day, month, year, or is it month, day, year? Well, it says here, number of iterations, 2011, 2008. So maybe it's like, it's, it's day, month, year. So, born on the 10th of December, 1991. Uh, number of iterations, 284. Wait a minute. Iterations. Iterations? Does that mean there's multiples? <laughs> Multiple feels? Um, hmm. Number of successes, zero. Or is it, well, I mean, is it a time loop? I don't know, anyway. The subject seems to have developed into a balanced specimen despite the emotional isolation and excessive testing uh, growing up. I think is what it says. The blood is like blocking it. Overall, it appears that the test subject is not suitable for pro something? Programming, maybe? After multiple iterations of the subject, we have yet to establish a connection between the cognitions. No, there may be another way with Plan Gen. Hmm. Subject name, blah, blah, blah. created the uh, 1st of April. Hmm. April Fools. Sex in? Sex in? In? In something? I don't know. Uh, I mean, the first thing I think of is intersex, but I don't know. Anyway. The number of iterations 52, so less iterations, but also no successes still. This iteration was created plan gen by putting the subjects, uh, I don't know, subject something's DNA into the creation pool. Hmm. Into the, yeah, into the subjects. What is that? Subjects? Subject something. Subject or letter word. I'm not sure. Subject mine, maybe? Mine's DNA? Uh, as, uh, is the only, is the only successful case so far. We hope to recreate this success via this method. So, so is it Sophia? Is it as Sophia's? Is the only successful case so far? However, this has been no, uh, there has been no further progress. No. Project, uh, Boda, uh, project has been declared a failure, um, Hmm. And it's terminated without further notice. Something is terminated. Sophia is terminated? B017. B017. You remember seeing a code starting with A before, but where? Ah. I, I forgot. 
A1702, maybe was it? Can't remember now. E E017. A0172 or something? I remember this, yeah, I remember, but not anymore. Ah, here we go. A1702, yeah. A1702, and it's funny. It's interesting we can remember like that. A1702, and... B O B zero seventeen A seventeen O two seventeen O two. Well, this is empty though. A seventeen O two B seventeen O three maybe. Is that what it is, or is it just B seventeen O two again? I'm not sure. Strange. Um. Interesting. A little sci-fi aspect <laughs> to all of this. Uh, you can go over here as well. What's over here? It's a trap door. Since it's open, someone must have used it recently. Hmm. Oh, dot dot dot. You want to this end? Sure. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. So under the house was just a secret lab. Good. Really, it's just like weird sci-fi horror. Uh, this has been sealed to the bring of calendars. They're almost identical, with only slight variations in the contents are written in them. And they're all of April 2010. The heck? What the heck? Nanny? So that was all the calendars we saw before, the bunnies. Hmm. You are automatically logged in as a guest. The guest account seems to be new, as there aren't any files you can access aside from the standard files. Nothing new there, I guess. Cabinets full of different kind of documents. You could be be pay paid to go through all of them. Well, there's a suspicious looking folder on the table. Take a closer look. There's some documents inside. One page in particular catches your attention. It's titled Iterations that are potential to replace the original body written by Dr. C. Carter. In this research paper, I'll explore the current state of iterations and their future potential for substituting our original body. Evident to observations, iterations are physically and, uh, psychologically? Psy- 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 I don't know if that's supposed correctly. Uh, psychologically, lacking when compared to their original counterpart. The body of an iteration stays identical to the original for a mere hours until there are vast mental divergences. As the memories of the original remain with the iteration, it seems to focus on specific parts of its memory, often linked to the original's emotions at the time of the iterating. Furthermore, they are unable to act outside of their fixations and seem to lack a code of ethics. The strong change in character marks the iteration an unsuitable replacement or legacy of the original. However, combined with Dr. M.T. Johnson's theory on deja vus, there may be a way to connect the cognition of the original and its iteration, making the iteration into a vessel rather than an independent organism. I will dive further into this theory and how to achieve results in the second part of this paper. Hmm. You cannot find the second part, but you do find a key. Stuck in the last pages. Alright, has something to do with... I don't know. Um, I wish I could make more saves. I, I can't want to replace the beginning. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just save it here. Because um, I do know this game... Well, we'll see. I, I, there's a reason why I don't want to save the, the earlier saves. Uh, but yeah, something... Okay, there's, there's something to do with like... Iterations, clones, maybe, and like maybe the scientists were trying to achieve immortality by like putting their minds into a new body and thing or something like that. They're trying to put their minds into a new body. Hmm. Like going here. I, I guess I will. Oh no, I guess I won't go further down the hall. That's locked. Some sort of camera. It's missing his battery, however. The SD card is still in it. Take it. I guess I will. Hmm. But I guess that's what they're, they're, that's what they're trying to do. Like make identical clones with memories of them, so they continue to live forever. But the the problem is that sometimes these clones 
diverge, I guess? They change? Maybe? Is that one? So that's what they're trying to like figure out how to fix that? There's like a lot, a lot of iterations though, so I don't know what happened to the previous clones. Uh, it's locked. You can barely hear the sound of machines running. Hmm. Well, I have the S this SD card. Can I go here actually? I have a computer, right? SD card reader. Is that normal? I don't have an SD card reader on <laughs> my computer. Hmm. Ah, she's waking up. Alright, camera lurling. Can you hear me? Huh? Dear, is that you? Dale. She can hear us. Great. Do you know my do you know your name? What? Dr. Carter? What's going on here? Oh my god. Are you using me as a test subject? Carter, you better let me go, I swear to god. Now now, Miss Jenkins. That wouldn't be very smart of me, would it? Dale! I'm sorry. You don't need to apologize. This isn't your wife, it's simply an iteration. But seems like its memories is lining up with Sophia's. Good, good. What? What in the world are you planning to do, do to me now? Well, I'm hoping that next iteration you'll be able to tell me. No! No, Dale, don't let her do this to me, please! I'm so sorry. Okay, so there's Dale, there's... Uh, Dr. Carter, I guess. And then Sophia. Sophia, okay, I'm trying to understand the story. Dale was, okay, Dale, Sophia, and the other lady. I already forgot, I already forgot her name, but, um, they're like scientists who are trying to study immortality, I assume. You know, by like creating iterations and clones, I assume, as well. And then Dale is, uh, was the husband to Sophia. They were happily married, I assume. And then they were trying to input Sophia's memories into like a clone, you know, they're using her as a test subject technically, but it's like an iteration. It's, you know, ethically ambiguous, I guess. Uh, but that's when the recording ends. There's two more recordings on an SD card. And there's another one. He's awake. Camera rolling. Hmm. Huh? Can, can you hear me? Mother? What have I told you about calling me mother? And yeah, so I assume uh, cause there's a note that mentioned that Sophia eventually died, which I'm not sure how she died, but I guess she died. And so Dale and uh, Dr. Carter got together, but not out of romance, I guess, just because they wanted to further, you know, progress their research. And they had a baby and they had Theo, I assume. And they just used their like son as like a test subject as well. Sorry, Dr. Carter. Uh, why am I restrained? Say, do you recognize this room? Uh, no. Really, nothing. Nothing about this situation feels familiar to you. No. This can't be. Ugh. Why are none of them, none, none of them, recalling anything? Aren't we mistreating him enough? Is he still too young? I don't understand. <laughs> you know, are, well, aren't we, aren't we abusing him enough? We should abuse him some more, you know? I'm mistreating him. Calm down, Carter. Maybe it's about time we... No, not after everything we went through to get this far. If we do this, there'll be a breakthrough in the century, Jenkins. You sound like a broken record at this point. Just admit it, it's not possible. It is possible. Sophia is a living, well, dead proof that it's possible. Exactly. He's dead. Which is, I don't know, just the entire opposite of the whole fucking goal of, the ex of this experiment. Don't you use that tone to me, Jenkins. Sophia was indeed a failure in the end, but she showed us that it's possible. Maybe Theo just isn't quite genetically optimal, but that's nothing unfixable, no? You cannot be suggesting. You know exactly what I'm suggesting. Get to the bedroom. We're gonna have... <laughs> We're gonna make another baby. No, um, uh, now get rid of this failure. Can't stand to look at it a second longer. Right. What a weird situation to be in. How? Huh? What do you... Wait, please, no! And he probably dies. He closed the file. Only one more recording. Hmm. 
don't have to press the button. And... Wait, what was that? Oh, okay, it was just showing, okay, it was this thing right here. I mean, it was sparkling as well in, in this room too. I think, yeah, it was sparkling. Just to tell the player, yes, exactly, you're supposed to look at that. After looking through a few files, you find a key card. Hmm. Okay, I assume that this key card allows us to go uh, to the right. No one here though? No? Okay. Something tells you that there's no going back once you enter. Alright. Well, not load the game. Save the game. Let's go. Ice cream. Hmm, so good. They really make the best ice cream in town. Next time you have to try some too. Right. Remind me to bring cash. Gee, I really could have... Could have bought one for you too, you know? Not happening. I buy my own things. Oh, there go my dreams of being your sugar daddy. <laughs> maybe... Maybe once you own your own money. Pro? Hmm? Do you ever think I'm weird? You know, you do have like... Heart pupils, right? In, in this CG, you don't, but normally you do have like heart pupils for some reason. That's a little weird. I get a lot of disapproving looks for the way I dress or the things I like. And I've always got mean comments when I want to eat ice cream in the winter. That mean, that that's also kind of weird, to be honest. Well, I don't know, you can eat ice cream at home. If your home is like well heated, you know, there's nothing wrong with eating some ice cream, but when it's already so cold outside, I don't know. Don't you get like a brain freeze? We just feel colder in general. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, um, society standards are, or yeah, that's actually pro saying that society standards are stupid. We live in a society. You're one of the good ones, feel. Thank you. You too, by the way. Thanks. Somehow it feels like it's us against the world sometimes. Sounds about right. Even so, I feel like we could win against the world. I don't know, there's a lot of people in the world. It's more than 7 billion, you know? Can you beat 7 billion people all in a row? Uh, but in the end, you couldn't win. Hmm, a lot of corpses. Is it getting a little stinky in here? Sophia? Question mark? At last. About time. I'm not getting any, any younger after all. But I digress. Do you want to know what's in that pod? It's a bit of a... Schrodinger? Uh, is that how you're supposed to spell it? I don't know. I remember there's like weird accents on Schrodinger. Anyway. Schrodinger's cat, really. I'm sure you know how the experiment goes. Say, have you ever given up on something out of fear or failure? Whether this experiment is a success or not, this is the end for me. When my creators decided to hand in the towel, I resented them. I couldn't understand their motive. I destroyed them to keep this experiment going. I did terrible things to their son, even involved in an unrelated party. And all of it might have been completely pointless. Have you ever asked yourself how Sophia died? Yes, actually, I... I did want to know. She was murdered by her own iteration. Until the moment of her death, she had no idea what was going on. Even though her iterations were able to communicate with each other beyond their deaths, she stayed completely unaware to any of it. The point of iterating was to preserve someone's life, so she met quite an ironic end, wouldn't you say? Lately, I've come to romanticize this irony. Do you want to know why I took on her name? Because I reject the name my creators gave to me. They call me Icarus. I don't mind the name itself. It is the only meaning I resent. The one who flew, flew too close to the sun. It's almost like they set me up for failure. I guess in the end, that's all I ever was. A failure. But you are different. You are special. 
You made yourself what it takes to become a god. Perhaps you resent me. I can't fault you. I provoked it. I promise you'll get to put the final bullet through my head once the time comes, but until then, I want you to pass on my work towards you, rather. I want to I want to pass on my work towards you. I will give you all my knowledge. You alone can give meaning to this research now. You know just as well as me that this isn't that this is the only feature we have. Crow's life isn't yours to live after all. Unless you choose to give this life back, I cannot make that decision for you. If you're willing to cooperate with me, has the cat already died? I wonder. In this world, what kind of future will you create? Well, a long time later. And everything's fine. And everything's great. Don't worry about it. Hmm. So what I got from that, by the way, is that maybe... We're, I mean, obviously we're in iteration as well. Everybody's in iteration. Everyone's in a clone, I guess. And it happened like one day that I assume Crow went to Theo's house and he got killed. And then that's when the loop started ha happening. And he kept get, being cloned by Sophia, which is actually Icarus. You know, an iteration of Sophia that killed the original Sophia, I guess. And then eventually killed, you know, the sciences as well. Mm, I don't know. Something like that. Thanks for the food! What's the plan for today? I've noticed that we're starting running out low on food, so you'll probably go out today, right? I was wondering, maybe I could come along today. You know. Well, I know, I know. Global pandemic and all, but I feel bad for letting you do all the chores. Oh. This is take six. Global pandemic? I mean, in real life, we are in the global pandemic, so uh, are we suddenly in COVID already? Well, the calendar says 2010, but we also know the calendar is lying to us, so I don't know. Anyway. Uh, are you sure? It's, it's not a burden to you. Okay, here you say so. I hope this pandemic ends soon. I really want to go on dates again. But again, it's only been a month, so I shouldn't be too impatient. I'll give the government some time, too. Fired. Happy music. La 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 la. Happy music. Calorie. Hmm. Take care. Oh, and I know they all are all sold out. Uh, they're all sold out everywhere. But if they have some candy, make sure to get it. I don't care about the brand at this point. Just give me the sugar. go out and get groceries today. Mm. Stay safe out there. Alright. I mean, it is the next month, though, actually. So time has progressed, at the very least, it seems. You wanna wash him real quick? Gotta go pee before you go, no? I guess not. I guess I'll go. Wee. After putting on your mask, you step outside. You have a hard time breathing as the sharp material presses onto your face. But you don't have a choice. Oh. Nice. <laughs> okay. And this is COVID... Uh... In like... 2050. <laughs> where... The super virus... Has destroyed civilization. Now, um... As breathing any of the toxic atmosphere might kill you. Hmm. Weird. What does that mean, by the way? I'm not sure. Does that mean... Does that mean they have achieved, they, like, they did achieve immortality? Is that what it means? Like, uh, they just continue to live their lives, but like, in like a weird loop? And the idea of getting groceries, quote-unquote, is really just him looting, you know? Like, from, uh, like, uh, from a nearby location after the world died? I, I assume, like, maybe, like, you know, the idea is, like, you know, the world has destroyed itself? From some kind of nuclear war somehow, maybe? And yet they still continue their lives because they, they keep, you know, they can keep living through their iterations, no matter what. Or whatever. I think that's what it means. I'm not entirely sure, though. Hmm. 
but I assume he succeeded, right? Like, Crow, question mark, that iteration of Crow anyway, succeeded in perfecting the formula and they just lived together forever. Maybe. But kind of bittersweet, obviously, because the rest of civilization is destroyed. I don't know, I don't know if we can do anything else to prevent that, but anyway. Uh, this is how this story will c conclude. If you find yourself lost, visit me in the white room. Oh, I uh, gotta write this down. Uh, gotta write that code down real quick. Don't worry about it. Okay, all right. Let's see here. I think there's another ending you can get on day two where you go back to sleep, I think. Yeah. Instead of looking for him. You just, you know what? Uh, he's fine. You know that weird s stranger with the bunny mask? It's just an illusion. It's just a weird hallucination of my headache. Don't worry about it. Just go back to bed. Uh, you decided to go back to bed. You probably were just seeing things, you know? Must have been the wind. Or so you tell yourself as you slowly doze off again. And the end. Okay. The end. That's an early ending, I guess. Or like, you just don't do anything. Nothing gets solved. You just die in your sleep, maybe. Or maybe technically it's a good ending. Well, not the best ending, but it's a good ending for, uh... Maybe... Him? You know, for Crow? Maybe that tells, uh, Sophia, question mark, that he doesn't want to be involved, so she just kicks him out, you know, and then he just never gets involved in the time, the whole time loop thing. I'm not sure. Maybe not, though. Maybe he, maybe he just gets killed. I don't know. But, uh, oh well, that, that's like a different ending, too. Instead of going through the whole process of, like, doing a bunch of puzzles, we just go back to sleep. Good night. Sweet dreams. Uh, any like after credits? I wonder. Is it just gonna kick me to the title screen? Now it's just the end. The end. I did it. I beat the game. Speed run. Kind of future will you create? All right. Now what? A long time later. Mm. When I wake up, my surroundings are cold, and I'm enveloped in darkness. There's a horrible stench in the air. Where? As I try to move, I realize that my hands have been bound. There also seems to be some kind of fabric around my head. A bag? What the? Did someone kidnap me? Finally awake. You're finally awake. <laughs> Caught you crying to trying to cross that border, eh? Just like, just like us and that thief over there. No, I'm um, <clears throat> finally awake. Who's there? Are you the bastard who did this to me? Yeah, right. I'm in the same situation, dipshit. Go figure. Also, we have the same voice. Isn't that weird? Any clue what's happening? Can't see much, but judging from the screams, nothing good. How oh, are you so calm? We need to get out of here. Oh, you don't say. They haven't tried, asshole? They will catch us, and then... They. Done responding, huh? A few hours pass as we sit next to each other in complete silence. I try to get some more information out of the person next to me, but don't, to no avail. At last, the silence is interrupted. A door. No. Someone's coming. Please. Gah! For a moment, the room falls silent again. All I hear is the sound of my own breathing hitting against the fabric around my face, ac uh, accompanied by the horrible stench of blood around me. Then suddenly, someone yanks the fabric off of my head and everything turns bright. As I look upon the last face I would ever see. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So that's the ending you get if you don't hang out with, um... 
with uh, feel all that much. You know, you, you, in fact, you don't at all. You don't play video games with him at all. And somehow, I guess that ending happens. I don't know. In a way, it's kind of uh, like kind of like part of the other ending too. I uh, I feel like I don't know. I, I don't know how it fits, but I guess that just shows like all the other iterations of himself, right? And him trying to like experiment with all the little iterations of his own clones, you know, and trying to, I guess, reach like the same thing, reach the same conclusion as the scientist is trying to find a successful uh, iteration and trying to complete the project, right? That's what he was doing. I don't know why he was sawing off a leg <laughs> or his limbs or whatever. I don't know, but I mean, usually you, you know, the scientists would kill the iterations once they've, you know, thought they were a failure. So maybe they were they were already failures. I'm not sure. Anyway, I guess that's what that was. Hmm. All right, and then da 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 da. What world will your future create? Okay. Huh? Okay. So again, this is uh, this is the ending I think I'm getting because I only played video games with Feel a few times. Not all the time. Let's see. Uh, the patient has woken up. How are you feeling? Huh? Where am I? In the hospital. You were found three days ago at the side of the road. What was the last thing you remember? Huh? Remember? I was coming home from practice. What day was that? What day? It was the 3rd, I think? Month of the year? Uh, 3rd of January, 2010. Why? What day is it today? It's the 23rd of August, 2020. Huh? Hmm. I'm confused. Who is this person? He looks, uh, well, she. Or he? she uh, it looks like a she. She looks like, um... Crow, right? His mother, maybe? I, I'm so confused. Anyway. Uh, 23rd of August 2020. Huh? You've been reported missing, sir. No, no, okay. No, no, he just has long hair. Okay. I don't know. I mean, the long hair makes him look very feminine. But no, it's just, no, it's just him. Okay. Well, I don't know. You've been reported missing, sir, 10 years ago. Hmm. Okay. So he just has long hair. It's been, it's been 10 years. He grew long hair. What? I can't remember anything. Huh. Uh Hmm huh. I'm like now I'm super confused. But like maybe my guess is that in that ending he does succeed in the project, right? But then it somehow made him forget the whole process in the first place? Is that what is that what happened? And I'm not sure exactly what happened. But apparently, like, ten years later, he, he was found on the side of the road. And then it's just him. With the long hair. It's like... Man. It's, hmm, I don't know. That... that I don't know. <sighs> well, I want to get more endings to see a bigger picture here, but, like... I, I, I'm assuming they continued the experiments, and then they... You know, and he finally knew how to... Like put his mind to a new body and everything, but the problem is that he forgot everything, right? At the same time. So he forgot all of that valuable knowledge and how to do it in the first place, maybe. I don't know. Not entirely sure. And what was that in, what was in the pod? I, I'm assuming the pod was, uh, you know, Crow and Feo, right? And it was like a, like a machine to like make more iterations, I assume. Hmm. Anyway, that that was a very ambiguous ending. I'm not entirely sure what that meant. Anyway, let's, let's try to get other endings. All right. So on the last day, one of the only things we haven't really uh, opened yet that was locked before was this. It was a drawer. It has a code now. Uh, this is the wrong code that I, I put in because I didn't. I forgot the 
the numbers that we got before, but we saw before in the file it was uh, B017, and also be uh, behind the poster was A1702. So A1702 and also 017 is what I should put. I put it incorrectly before. And this should be the right code, and that opens the drawer. What's inside this drawer? Well, let's see. There's something wrapped in the cloth in the drawer. Take it with you? I guess I will. Um, it just looks like tissues, you know, just like the rest of the tissues on the floor, but I guess I'll take it. There's no inventory menu, by the way, so I don't know what that is. Oh, well. All right, and let's take this with us and uh, see what happens. Okay, this seems the same. Whoa! Okay. It was a gun. <laughs> the power of gun. I see. So that's the choice. Alright. Okay. Oh, it's red. Seems to be blood. Um, no, she did mention like a Schrodinger's cat. All I see is blood in this one. I mean, this route, I believe, this is the route where we never really play games at Field, so we didn't hang out with him all that much. So we don't have a strong bond with him, I assume, and that might affect the ending. I don't know if there's anything else I can do, so I guess I'll just leave. La 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 la. Oh, okay. Burn everything. Alright. We literally burn everything. I guess that's... That's what happens. We take the gun, and then we just kill the killer. And they were like, nah. We're leaving. We're burning this all down, and going back to our normal lives. We never should have gotten involved in the first place, I guess, is the idea. I wonder what happens to Feel. This, I assume Feel dies too, which is kind of like a downer, really. He couldn't, he couldn't have at least save Feel. Hmm. I don't know. These iterations, though, it was mentioned in the in the project files. You know, these scientists or whatever mentioned how like the iterations of failures. What happens to the iterate? They mentioned like their personalities change or whatever. I don't know if this is a bad thing or not. You know, do the iterations like do they die? Shortly after, do they have short lives, or do they just, you know, continue to live anyway, you know? It's, it's not exactly like a failure. It's just that the personalities diverge, you know? I don't know. Anyway, I, I assume he just burns everything down. He's like, screw it, <laughs> you know? Everything dies here. Alright, well that's just the... Everything is up in flames ending. Uh, let's try to get a different one. Why don't you both save us attention? Just point it at me already. Gun! 9mm gun. Uh, how does it feel? I still remember the first time I took another life. Stabbing the people who put me through all this suffering over and over again. It wasn't as fulfilling as you would think. We were made to have a conscience, but no matter who you are, there's just nothing pleasant about the smell of blood. What's going on? Crow? Sophia? Why are you guys? What? Wow! I didn't know you were this crafty. You look so realistic too. Good job. Yes, this is all just like... It's all special effects. Uh, enough of the scary pranks now. Why don't we go to the kitchen and make hot cocoa for everyone? Oh, Theo. No matter how bad a situation seems, you're always able to smile through anything. I've always hated that about you. Nani! Crow! Now please, stay with me! Why? Why would you risk your life for him? He's nothing more than the failed iteration. The real field doesn't even know you. The one from your memories is long since dead. 
So why? What are you hoping to achieve? Okay, I was I was wondering about that. Who were the who was the original feel? I, I guess they died a long time ago already. A long time ago. You're just wasting your ah. Pro. I'll go get help. You grab it before you can run off. You don't want to be to call anyone, but. All right, hang in there. We'll figure this out. Hmm, wonder what's in that pod. I guess nothing. Anyway, I guess we'll walk away. Actually, well, actually, can we check? <laughs> just real quick, can we check on her? No, I guess she's dead. All right, just face down, <laughs> dead. Well, after that, I brought Crow to my room and somehow managed to nurse him back to health. Thankfully, the bullet had missed any vital organs, and I had enough tools on hand to save him. Afterwards, he explained everything that was going on to me. I didn't really get any of it, but I understood that we couldn't trust the government from now on. Again, the government? I don't know, did the government have anything? I thought the gov- Maybe I misread it, but I thought the government was against the scientists doing this project, you know? They didn't want them to do this. I thought it was the opposite, like, uh, anyway. Uh, because we're different. Soon after Crow had recovered, we decided to burn my house down and get as far away from the city as possible. Huh, okay. Ever since then, we've been on the run. It's not an easy life, but I'm happy nonetheless. As long as we're together, I'm sure we'll be able to face anything. Okay, that was somewhat like a happier ending, you know? I think that was a good ending, actually. Because that's the one where we do spend time with him and play video games the entire time. So I guess we, you know, formed a bond. Even though he's not the real feel, I guess. But Crow isn't the real Crow himself, I imagine. They're both iterations. So in the end, it's like, whatever, you know, it doesn't matter at this point. He's Feo and he's Crow and Bunny Girl gets shot, <laughs> you know, and she dies. Who cares? Again, it's gotta be hard to like hide the smell though. Isn't that just a giant corpse pile? Especially since we burned down the house. Isn't someone gonna find that eventually? I don't know. Maybe <laughs> like there's a lot of like burnt corpses in the air. I don't know if that's a good idea, but oh well. At least it's better than the one where we I mean the other one we also burned down the house, but at least we're gonna you know, grow in Fior together anyway. There you go. Another bittersweet ending, I feel like. Where... Not exactly, like... Like, things don't go back to the way they were entirely, but, uh... At the, ver at the very least, the main characters survive, right? Or survive, quote-unquote. You know, the iterations survive, but, you know... Anyway. Oh, Theo. Bad about that situation, it seems you're always able to smile through anything. And I've always hated that about you. Oh! Huh? <sighs> Just leave it. You won't be able to. S you won't be able to save that one. I don't know why you're so hung up on someone you knew for just one day. He's nothing more than a failed iteration. The real field doesn't even know you. Or is it because this one is your field? You understand that you're different from him by now, don't you? You know it's not too late. If you choose me, I can teach you how to make a new one. I have lots of backups you can choose from. Just make another one. Easy. I see. But well, that's a shame. But very well, I will honor your choice. I just hope you won't come to regret it. Alright. Well, we choose to shoot her instead. Ah, interesting, okay. Hmm. So that was an... Hmm. Well, when I came to, I was lying in a hospital bed. My body felt weak. At first, I could barely even talk. I was told they found me collapsed by the side of the road. When he asked me what happened, I would always repeat the same words. I don't know. According to the police, I was last seen in March 2010. After my friends had been able to contact me for a while, they called the police. In 2017, I was officially declared dead until finally being found three years later. 
Since then, five years have passed. Okay. 20th of, um... I want to say August. I'm so bad at remembering the, the order of months. Uh, I think it's August. I don't know. I could be wrong. 2025, though. Hmm. Interesting. So when we found when we opened up that pod, maybe that was the original crow. Maybe the original crow didn't die, you know, or was that a next iteration? I'm not entirely sure. But I guess this is him all grown up. Hello? Crow. Are you at the airport yet? Nope. What do you mean nope? Your flight is in one hour, isn't it? I overslept. I'm at the bus station though. Oh. What now? Nothing. Looks like I just missed the bus. But I should make it for the next one. Should? Crow, do you have any idea how much is riding on this deal? Listen, Crow, I know you've been working freelance so far, but now that you're part of our team, I need you to be more cooperative. We're putting a lot of work and effort to make sure everything goes smooth, so please, for the love of God, don't fuck this out of that. I'm saying this for your sake first and foremost. Are you even listening? Huh? They open up a new coffee shop at the bus station. You better not! What? Sorry, signal's bad. I'll call you back later. Crow! Ah. <laughs> anyway. Hmm. Good day, sir. Uh, may I take your order? Medium black, please. My medium sized black coffee coming right up. Some sugar and milk to go with it? Nah, I'm good, thanks. Uh, this place is pretty new, eh? Ah, yes, we opened a month ago. You're the owner? Yes! Fresh out of school and already opening up cafes, huh? Not bad. Oh, I'm already 33. <laughs> this is funny, he looks very young, I guess. Although I did finish culinary school not too long ago. Would've fooled me. Ah, <laughs> thank you. So, are you a musician? A lead singer guitarist. Scribbing by to make a living, but I can afford a coffee, so I have that going for me. Well, that's really cool. Do you play in this area? Uh, not anymore. Kinda on the run, so... Right, that'll be 250. Keep the change. Are you sure? That's a lot. Don't need it when I'm going. Are you leaving the country? Yep. Hopefully for good. Oh, I see. Kinda hope I made a new regular. If I ever come back, I'll be sure to swing by. Thank you. Hope you have a good flight. Thanks. Good luck with your dream as well. Yeah, thanks. That surprised me. So you open up a cafe, huh? Hmm. Hmm. But that's a mind bender. <laughs> that's, that's all these endings hurt my brain. Um. Okay, so he opened up the pod, and at least in this route, it was, it was him. I don't know if it's another iteration, or it was the original Crow, maybe. I'm not entirely sure whether or not the original Crow died. But I guess the, the project was a success, maybe? And then he just continued to live his life, you know? He didn't really use the experiment for anything, he just... You know, maybe he revived a copy of himself, and also maybe a copy of Feel. I imagine it's what happened. But then they, then they just lived their separate lives, you know? Maybe? Hmm. Because it's very similar to another ending where he woke up in a hospital, right? With the long hair. There's another ending that's very similar. But I was wondering if that was like an iteration or was it the original Crow? You know, because if it was the original Crow, that would make sense. You know, because he went missing for like many years. And then he didn't know anything about his iteration or anything like that. So... Hmm. On the game close. By the way. To open up the game again, anyway. But yeah. I think.
think that's I don't know. It's, it's confusing. I'm not sure who, who's the iteration and who's the original. Maybe that's the point, actually. Maybe that's the point of the game that you don't know. It doesn't matter who's who, I guess. Maybe that's the that's the theme of the game. I don't know. But anyway, I think that's the last ending actually that I got. I think that's all the endings in the game, at least in the original version. Um, there is an extended version you can get of this game. It's about like three bucks, I think. Did the game say? I think you go to the white room actually. Well, let's go in the white room, I guess. So the the pass room, the white room is two thousand eight. And I actually went in here before, and I don't think it's much. It just it's just it's just uh, basically advertising the extended version, to be honest. But you know, yeah, pigeon was a pigeon. Where am I? It's a white room. Helps you, you know, unlock the other endings, which I did already. It's the least of the bonus room, exclusive with extended edition. I get them vacant or on the nose. Attachment, okay, yeah, okay. It gives you a hint to basically how you get all the endings. So basically, they, they'll get all the endings. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but basically, um, it's dependent on how many times you play games with Theo. So that kind of like, I guess, uh, shows how much of a bond you have with him, I guess, by playing video games. And also, getting like, uh, I mean, in the endings anyway, you get, you get like an item from the drawer on the last day as well. Depending on whether you get that, also affects the ending. So eight endings in total, at least in this version. And there's the extended version. I think Mr. Pigeon mentions, uh, you know, how much extra content is there. There's two additional endings, and this bonus room with artwork and you know concept art and all that, and some after scenarios, I guess. And I believe you can get it. And it says right here on the official HBO page. You see it right there for two ninety nine, three bucks. Well, there you go. Um, I believe the developer did mention on the store page they can't record or stream the extra content as far as I know. I think that's what it was it was saying. So I'm not gonna show it to you know in uh, in respect to the developer, I guess. Is that the right word? In respect? Anyway. I'm not gonna do it because you know I wanna respect the developer's wishes. Um But yeah, if you're interested, I guess you get some bonus endings. I don't know how I feel about it though. Like you're trying I don't know. I think you should like Instead of saying exclusive ending, maybe you should say cut endings, you know? I'm not sure what the endings are, to be honest, but... Um, I kind of feel it's kind of weird to, like, hide, like, story... Un like, behind, like, a paywall. It's not that much of a paywall, but, you know, not everyone has a credit card, right? But, I don't know, anyway. It doesn't matter to me, but, you know, just an extra thing, I guess. Anyway. So that was all the endings of the game. I'm still left a little bit confused, but I believe the main plot is kind of like, you know, you're stuck in a weird time loop. It's not really a time loop, actually, because if you notice, when you went through the game multiple times, uh, or at least day the days anyway, you go through the days multiple times, um, you notice that when the house is deteriorating, you know, it gets more messy and the plants are dying, right? What really happens is the calendars will kept being replaced, but uh, the date was just, uh, rather, the, yeah, the, the, the calendar kept being replaced with the same date, but the days were still going by, you know, so every iteration of feel that we see um, is a different feel, and maybe Crow even, every single time, and our memories started blending together, I guess, as we went through uh, the different iterations and everything. So it wasn't a time loop necessarily, it was more so like a weird memory clone loop, you know, where we die, but the world keeps going, but it's the it's the people that keep restarting, I guess, maybe. But, um, but I guess Crow, I guess I think the idea is that Theo, his memories kept restarting, right? So he's kind of a failure technically, but, uh, uh, Crow kept remembering actually. He started to remember the loops, and therefore, was actually succeeding in the experiment, you know, because that's why Sophia, or Sophia question mark anyway, Icarus, mentioned he was a special uh, case because he's kept remembering everything. So that's why, um, you know, he was a success in the experiment. Um, and maybe, you know, Sophia, or whatever, Icarus, or whatever, started killing them over and over again to make sure they remember, you know, it's like something shocking to make them, like, remember each iteration and therefore make the project a success is the idea, I guess. You know, and I think 
I could be wrong, but I be I think the original iteration, the original crow, or at least the, maybe the best iteration or whatever, was inside that pod, and you know, and she was doing all that so that it would make the perfect like clone, you know, of the original crow. And originally, you know, the scientists were trying to do that with the original Sophia, and later on with their child Theo. It's because they're trying to like find immortality or whatever, you know, they're trying to like make a breakthrough in their experiment or whatever. And trying to like uh, transfer their memories into a new body, so when they, they when, so when they die of like old age or whatever, humanity would discover immortality or you know, everything, right? But I believe most of the endings, um, Crow doesn't do much with it. He learns the truth in some of the endings, and he just doesn't do much with it. You know, he doesn't really like spread the news. You know, even if he succeeds, he just kind of lives his life. I imagine is what happens. Um, and yeah, I, I believe, I don't know, I mean, there was definitely the one where... Hmm, I mean, there was the ending where uh, he goes out for groceries, I believe. That's, I think that was the first ending I got. Um, I'm assuming in that ending, like, everything goes to shit, but, like, he continues using his experiment for his own benefit, I guess, to live out his life with Theo, even though the world is crashing down. I don't know, I'm not sure what that truly meant to be honest I think that's what happened you know again like he, he basically just keeps the experiments to himself which was which is what the scientists were doing in the first place too they basically kept the experiment to themselves because obviously they were you know experimenting on humans so they weren't allowed to do that right so they don't want to make sure they succeed at first before maybe like taking credit I guess but obviously they got killed by uh one of the iterations of Sophia, and Sophia herself, I guess, got killed. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just not sure of the timeline, though. Like, were they... Well, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't matter, but like... Sophia did get killed by an iteration, but like... Did, uh, Dale and Dr. Carter... I forget her first name, but did Do Dr. Carter and Dale, did they make, you know, Theo when Dale was still married to Sophia, because there's some, like, you know, something going on there. I don't know. I'm not sure of the timeline with those scientists, but eventually they all died anyway, so whatever. <laughs> they all died. <sighs> but yeah. Anyway. I think that's the kind of, like, the main plot of, of the game, you know? You, you find out that none of these characters were the originals. They're all just clones. Or whatever. I don't know if a clone is the right word. It's just what I'm the first thing I think of, you know. I think it's clones. <laughs> it's like clones, right? Sort of? Uh, biological clones? I know in some other sci fi uh, media, um, the whole like transferring your memory thing, it's less so like transferring to another biological body. It's actually transferring to like a, a robot or something, like a computer, you know? <laughs> kind of like that too, but I don't know. Anyway. But yeah, inter interesting, interesting little plot. It's still. Man, I'm I'm still like kind of like untangling it in my head, but definitely I guess all the little endings are kind of like implications to all the other, you know, to themselves basically, of what happened to the experiment, what happened to Theo, what happened to Crow and everything. They kind of connect to each other, you know, some endings, you know, like Crow is still doing the experiment, some endings he kind of like, you know, just burned it, and some of them he just, I don't know. But, um... I imagine, you know, the last ending I got, I think that's kind of like the true ending, you know? It's kind of sad because they don't end up together, but, you know, they definitely like, uh... I assume the last ending that I got is kind of like, they don't know each other anymore, but... Um, Crow knows, I guess? He did say that line where he said, oh, this is where you're doing or whatever. Hmm. I'm not sure the implication of that, actually, because isn't... The crow from that ending, the one that was the original, and therefore does not have memories of what happened or whatever? I don't know. But did it have memories of the original? I would imagine he would have memories of the original feel, right? I don't know. Now that I think about it, maybe in the actual last ending, maybe they do get, get together again, you know? Because he remembers Theo, right? He was missing for like a few years, he lost all his memories. But maybe he does remember Theo, and then... Maybe he comes, actually comes back, you know, he did, he does, he did promise to come back to the coffee shop or whatever, so maybe he does come back, you know? I, I don't know, headcanon, I think they get together again. <laughs> Alright, that's the true ending. They grow up, they meet again after so long, they forget each other, I guess, but Crow remembers. 
and maybe uh, Field doesn't because he's technically an iteration, but the original Crow doesn't know that. So maybe they get together. Whatever. What? Uh, that's what happens in my head, Kenan. Anyway. Um. But yeah. So yeah. Uh. I don't know. What else do I want to say? Um. Uh, overall, it was an enjoyable game. Definitely very interesting little plot. Um. Uh, sometimes a little ambiguous, but I think it has enough to keep me interested, you know? It wasn't so obtuse that I don't get it at all. I, I think it's enough that it, it keeps me invested in, like, little theories and all that. But, uh, but not in such a very direct way, I guess. It, it, it was it was super interesting. I don't know, I'm just so, like, stuck on it. I'm just, I'm still trying to, again, untangle the story. But anyway, overall, good game. Um, I gotta wrap this up. I'm, I'm just spending too much, like, just trying to, like, think of theories. Um, I like the art. The art is fine. Uh, the gore, you know, is, is, is fine. Um, I, is, is it scary? It's technically a horror game. I guess it's scary because of the gore and all that. Um, I guess the only thing I would say is the puzzles. Yeah, the puzzles were definitely a little obscure sometimes. I don't know. Then again, I'm just bad at puzzles, so I'm incredibly biased, but <laughs> the puzzles... The only thing I don't like about them is sometimes you don't have much guidance, you know? Sometimes you just wake up and there's just no objective, right? I wish sometimes when the main character wakes up, they would have an actual, like, and then I should do this, you know? Or some kind of vague direction to push the player to do something instead of just wandering around until you find something, right? I, I wish there was a bit of that. But of course, again, I'm just bad at puzzles, so maybe there were hints, but uh, maybe I missed them or something. But yeah, that's the only thing I would say about the puzzles is that I, I wish there was a bit more guidance in the beginning anyway. Um, of each day anyway, right? It's just because you wake up and uh, you're like, I don't know what to do, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah. And then anything else I want to say? I don't know. I wish we learned more about Sophia, though. Or at least Sophia question mark. She was an interesting character. I was wondering why... Because it was mentioned like the iterations don't have a conscience or something, they have no morality, but... And that's why she killed everyone, but I actually want to learn more about her, you know, her reasoning and all that. I mean, we did look, get a lot of exposition to the end, but... Um, I actually wanted a little bit more, like, during as well, maybe. I don't know, I mean, we did learn her file and everything. I don't know, I guess we just, I just want more interaction, you know? She had a, she kind of has a, kind of like a Saw vibe, you know? Like, uh... What's that guy? The Saw movies? Does he have a name? I don't remember his name, but he has a mask, he's like a doll. And he's like, we need to play a game, <laughs> you know? I actually wanted her to like, maybe play more of an antagonistic role. I mean, she did like do the whole phone call thing, but uh, I actually want her to taunt the, the player some more, you know? That, that'd be kind of cool too, I don't know. <laughs> that would be real more interesting as well. Anyway, that's like walking this white space. Uh, but yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's it. That's all my final thoughts of the game. Um, interesting little game. I like it. Uh, I, well, I mean, the, the last thing, I guess, would be the, the endings. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know if I mentioned it, but it is a little annoying to get all the endings, though. Because it does rely on you making sure you play at different frequencies, I guess, and feel. Uh, you, you have to play the game at least one more time, I guess, to, like, get a different save file. You want to make sure you get all the branches um that's the only annoying thing i wish that was more streamlined at the very least i don't know or at the very least if you're gonna like do something like that maybe branch out the story a little bit more from the beginning you know so it's more interesting to play the game multiple times instead of making it like a chore you know because i feel like you you should get all the endings if you want to get the full story right but yeah and i'm rambling for so long this was this was an interesting game um, check out the, yeah, check out the bonus content if you're interested as well. But there you go. I think that was it for Sophia? Question mark? You know, Sophia got the question mark. Um, and that was my time with this game. So, if you're on YouTube, if you didn't know, I stream these games live on Twitch. So, check me out over there if you're interested. Um, I also have other games on the channel that I've done so you can look for those if you want and thanks for watching until next time see you then <laughs>